Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. It's been it's been a while since we played this game, guys. I think the last time we played was when I did like an introductory guide for Somerset. But most of the time, I kind of play this game on my own. But since they've just released this new DLC covering one of my favourite areas in the Elder Scrolls, elsewhere, well, I thought you know let's do a video on it. And, I mean, for those of you wondering, The Elder Scrolls Online looks very different to, obviously, Skyrim, Oblivion, all those other kind of games. It is more an MMO than it is an Elder Scrolls game at heart, I would say. But um, it's one of those MMOs I found really easy to get into because it's Elder Scrolls related. Otherwise, I find it quite hard to connect with, you know, the lore behind MMOs. But the lore on this game is really cool. And look, they've even added... The different type of Khajiit mounts into the game, including the most butch one I've ever seen. Look at that. Look at the shoulders. Look at that back profile. You wish you could go to the gym and achieve such standards as this. My god. So, this is what the new area looks like. This little area here, as you can see. There's probably quite a lot here to explore. Lots of new bosses to defeat and whatnot. It is located just here, elsewhere. Um, but this is the whole Elder Scrolls online map, as you can see, Tamriel. It's huge. I know there's a lot of people probably watching that just aren't familiar with the Elder Scrolls online. But we're going to start off a random quest here and just sort of do some quests in this episode. But if you guys uh, have any questions or whatnot, you know, uh, leave them in the comment section. And I'll try and read them because the chat's going pretty rapidly right now. Excuse me, if I may be so bold, you match the description I was given? I have a message for you, if you're willing to accept it. A message? F no, just goodbye. <laughs> More like a summons, really. Comes from Abner Tharn, who once advised Emperor Varen of Cyrodiil. Ooh. He wants to see you in Riverhold in Northern Elsewhere. Said it involves the Khajiiti Defense Force and a rage of dragons, if you can believe it. Why was not told? I'll travel there and see what he wants. Right, so the voice acting on, like, for, as far as MMOs go, the voice acting on this MMO is literally, like, incredible. It's as good as any Elder Scrolls game. Right, so where does she want me to go? Let's have a look here. Show on map. Where's that? Over here. Okay, let's have a ride through elsewhere then, my friends. Let's put a, bit, a little map marker there. It looks very beautiful. They always like seem to nail the art style of these different areas. Very deserty terrain, I see. No, it's not the Elder Scrolls 6. Is it worth buying? I have no idea. I've literally just started playing it, so I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, I these days though, if you're like not so sure about Elder Scrolls Online in general, you can literally get the game for I think £10 or $10 even. And then you can just play it because you don't need to subscribe to play anymore. So, you know, if you're, like, unsure, literally $10 isn't a much of an investment. Yeah, I believe you can even get it cheaper. It does have Skyrim in this game, yeah. But it's, like, a different time period. So there's not, like, a civil war going on currently. I believe this is the city we need to go to. I'm playing a Nightblade character. But they did, they did add a Necromancer in this DLC. Thank you so much for the 20 knock musty busty. <laughs> Khajiit has wares if you have coin. Indeed. Maybe I'll even get my own Khajiit out later. Let's kill these people. These innocent bystanders. Apparently they're spell blades. Uh, excuse me. Oh, this guy is like a, a Roman. He's got like the Spartan helmet and shield. Oh, we got a new blueprint for crafting. So, where do I need to go? Oh, I'm in the wrong location, guys. We're already lost at the start of the video. Oh my god, my cat's too butch to even climb up that small rock there. I'm surprised this thing can even jump this far. It just doesn't look like it should be able to jump. It's that butch. Imagine just doing that many steroids that you looked this beefy. Life goals. 
Hey, Roderick, how's it going, man? Wait, do I need to go? Oh, I need to go up there. What is this new Skyrim called? This is Skyrim free. Indeed. I've got to say the graphics aren't as good as Skyrim. Nah, that's the thing about like mass multiplayer online games, I guess. You've got to kind of pitch it so the mass amount of people can download the game and also play it on their machines and also host like a variety of people on the same server which as we know from Skyrim multiplayer is a very difficult thing to do oh so there's a party go oh look there's a party guys so this is a world boss right here and clearly everyone's waiting for it to spawn unless it spawns the next few seconds I'll just move on and not bother but um, it's always good when like the new zones come out because you can just go around all the bosses and easily kill everything because there's so many like new players playing the game. This is indeed elsewhere. Who's potatoing right next to you? Yeah, you can add me if you like. It's enter name here is my name. I've also got a guild actually. What's the name of my guild? It's called ESO Squad, no spaces. So if you drop me an invite, I can add you to the guild and then we can hang out on stream. Yeah, it's not spawning anytime soon, so let's just head back here later. They've added uh, dragons into this DLC though, so I'm really excited to see one of those. I've purposely not watched anything about it just so I can save spoilers for myself, basically. But it's it's out early on PC, so it came out today on PC. Um, it's coming out, I think, on the 4th for console. So this is where we're meant to meet Abner Farm. He's a very, very smart Imperial mage, I believe. He's quite a well-known battle mage in the lore. Look at these chunky ass Khajiit creatures. <laughs> so he's in here, let's go and have a chat to him. Is this early access? It's it's not really early access. If you have PC and you've brought the game, you can basically just go and play it now. Of reason, speaker. Ah, here comes someone who can help us now. Who is it? It must be one of these NPCs. <laughs> Hello. Ah, Vestige. How good of you to attend me. As I was saying to Lord Goresh Ree and Kamira, competent help remains at a premium in this remote province, which is why I sent for you. We must once more join forces to save elsewhere from a rage of dragons. A rage of dragons? So much better than flock or herd, don't you think? The Khajiiti Defense Force isn't prepared to deal with a threat as big as dragons. Especially since they were fighting to liberate Rimmon when the huge beasts arrived. <laughs> liberate Rimmon? I like how I just arrive here and know nothing about elsewhere. Stay focused. We'll deal with that later. Right now, we must assist the Defense Force. Rendezvous with us at their command post. On your way, however, I have another task for you. I detected a series of power surges that I want you to investigate. All right then, tell me more about these surges of power you're talking about. I was formulating a spell to track the dragons when I noticed several surges of arcane energy not far from here. They reminded me of an old acquaintance. Has a way with portals. If it is him, I want you to secure his help against the dragons. As you do. Do they have anything to do with the dragons? Hard to say with certainty, but I don't believe so. They remind me of Sir Cadwell, who somehow opens portals with a power of similar intensity. Check the locations I marked on your map before you make your way to the defense camp. Okay there, Preston. You mentioned Lord Garish Ree. Did you? I wish you pronounced that for me because I've forgotten how you pronounce that. That's a terribly horrifying name to have. Lord Garish Ree is the Speaker of the Men. Nailed it. Commander of the Northern Elsewhere Defense Force. His aide, Kamira, serves as both a diplomat and a spy, though she would never call herself that. 
If you want to know more, feel free to ask them. Yeah, Abner Khan is the guy from the main quest. I didn't trust him either. <laughs> he just seems like a shifty person. Even now, I feel like at one point he'll like turn on me and try to turn into a dragon kill us all or something. <laughs> you mentioned the Khajiit were trying to liberate Rimmon. My half-sister, Euraxia, conquered Rimmon and other parts of northern elsewhere about six years ago. The Khajiiti Defense Force has slowly been taking back their province, but Rimmon is well fortified. And now, because of the dragons, things are worse. What's the Khajiit Defense Force anyway? It's pretty much just me. <laughs> A militia drawn from the prides of northern elsewhere. Garish Ri, the Speaker of the Main, has taken command during this crisis. With Dominion troops busy fighting the Three Banners War, the Defense Force must deal with the Euraxians and the dragons. Oh, silly high elves. I know Sir Cadwell myself. Ah, yes, of course you do. He does get around. If Cadwell turns out to be the source of the power surges, learn what he's doing out there and ask if he will aid us against the dragons. For all his eccentricities, he has talents we can utilize. Very well. <laughs> this is the thing about when new DLCs come out, you just have tons of people standing around the quest objectives. So he's given us one quest to go over here and investigate the power surges, but there's some other quest areas here as well. We can speak to um, the other NPCs before we go. You're responding to Abnur Thal's letter, one of the promising adventurers. I hope you can help us. But where are my manners? Welcome to Riverhold and the province of Northern Elsewhere, also known as Amequina. I am the speaker of the main. God damn, the Khajiit voice acting. I'd literally buy this just for the Khajiit voice acting alone. I watched the trailer and I was like, wow, if all the voice acting is this good, I'm just going to be cracking. Oh, man. I love it. No. Matters in other parts of elsewhere occupy the main right now. That is why I am here. I originally arrived to take charge of the Northern Elsewhere Defense Force. Efforts to expel the usurper Euraxia Tharn were well underway when the dragons appeared. Tell me about Tharn. A few years ago, Abnur Tharn's half-sister conquered Rimin and parts of northern elsewhere. We recently liberated Riverhold and were about to do the same for Rimin when the dragons spread across the land. It's almost as if they came to her aid. As if he wasn't dodgy enough himself. He has a very dodgy half-sister who's, like, taking over parts of elsewhere. Seems very shifty indeed. Are you going to fight a dragon for us? Of course I will. It's only a matter of time, Roderick. I love the female voice actors for the Khajiit. Oh yeah, for sure, man. I just... I wish I could do the same voice acting standard they had. Maybe I could try and hire one for like one of my videos just to have them narrate the whole thing if I gave them a script. That would be cool. What can I do to help? Talk to Abnur Farm. He has agreed to serve as my advisor, a role he knows well from his years standing beside the ruby throne. His strategies and tactics for use against the dragon sound outrageous, but he knows what he is doing. Indeed. Okay. <sighs> Another outsider comes to elsewhere, as if we did not have enough problems between Abner Tarn and the dragons. Ah, do not mind me. Great beasts rampaging through my homeland tends to put me in a foul mood. Hum, great beasts. <laughs> she like rolls every single letter. Who are you? I am Kamira. I am the speaker of the main and serve as his agent. With both the usurper queen and the dragons ravaging northern elsewhere, there is much for me to do. Too much, I fear. But I will persevere. Tell me about the dragons. What can I tell you that you cannot guess? That these fearsome creatures of legend have returned to threaten elsewhere? That much is obvious. Damn it. This is all Abner Tharn's fault. Dark Moons, take him! Ah, Dark Moons. <laughs> what do you mean this is Abner Tharn's fault? <sighs> that arrogant Imperial! For an advisor to Emperors and a renowned battle mage, he demonstrates a disturbing lack of caution. 
It was Abner Tarn who entered the halls of Colossus and released the dragons. Ah. That was not his intention. But... But you don't believe him. This was the person from the trailer, by the way. If you guys haven't seen the Elsewhere trailer, check it out. The cinematic one is so good. So good. What do my beliefs matter? Dragons have come to Elsewhere, destroying everything I hold dear. As the moon singers say... The path to oblivion is paved in good intentions. So damn Abner Thorn. Damn him for unleashing this terror upon us. Great. Good one, Abner. Alright, let's head outside and start sorting out this mess, eh? By first investigating these sources of power. I'm just going to concentrate on the main quest for now. Uh, I'll do the side quest another time, but it can get a bit confusing if you just run around accepting every single quest, which I do sometimes do, but... What's this? There's a triangle on this crate. What does it mean? Is it a shadow mark? What was that noise? Offer the dragon skooma. No, I must have the skooma myself. Right, so this is the first source of power. Seems like nothing is happening here. Ah, it's a pot. Interesting. A foul-smelling sack. Have you not showered today? Rotten turkey leg. A source of power, indeed. Sometimes I leave sources of power in my bin. There's actually a sky shard here. Let's pick that up. Da. Oh, and there's a safe box. Let's see if we can get that before anyone else does. Huh? Maybe I'm. Um, oh no no, they're gonna pick it up. God damn. Aha! You noob. You know not the. Thieves Trove. Yes, give me that stolen shipment. What's inside here? Ten wooden hops. Nice. Uh, okay, so now we need to go to the next power area. The dungeons are really good in this game, yeah. They're especially like the veteran difficulty ones are super hard. I've been like trying to level up my character in preparation for them. Um, to do some of the veteran content. But they have like a new trials um, for this DLC as well. Which I haven't experimented with yet. Discarded orders. Both Her Majesty, Queen and Court Necromancer. Oh god, Necromancers. Have detected a series of unknown surges of magic. Your orders are to investigate each area. Yeah, okay. So this person had the same orders as us, but they are dead. Hmm, not good. Das is Nikord. Let's head over to the last location. Sorry about the, like, I don't know if it's like the FPS is a bit weird. I've got like 108 ping, I guess, because this has just come out. So the servers are kind of like a little bit capped. But, um, yeah, usually the game runs super smooth. So it's just a little bit FPS drops now and again. Not as smooth as usual. Favorite Elder Scrolls Online class? Well, I've been playing... So I leveled a Nightblade when the game first came out on the NA server. And I did it again on the EU server because I kind of like that class. I like just being a damage dealer. I also have a Dragon Knight tank, though. That's fun. I do enjoy tanking. But it does get a little bit boring when you're trying to get through content quickly because you literally do no damage at all. So uh, I've got a tank just for dungeons. But aside from that, I play my Nightblade. No. I don't like mages, yeah, though. Don't be such a nervous nature. The dead can't hurt us. But where do you think it came from? Who are you? It stinks of cold harbor. Is, is that cat talking? The usurper queen's lackey summoned it, yes? Don't touch the dead thing. They do not tell me. <laughs> like I don't know how to handle a dead corpse. I wonder what killed it though. Maybe it Interesting. I saw you, what a stench. 
That's the stink of cold horror. I'm talking to a cat. Fearsome and dangerous creature ended up dead beneath our favorite rocky outcropping. This one does not wish to speculate. Only an extremely powerful mage could summon such a monster. I wish you could have a follower like this that talks to you. That would be so cool. Oh, that's a cat that's talking. It's got like its own fashion wear and everything. Why is there a fire here? What a strange place for a fire. Shh, stay, stay low in the grass. We've got ruddy fangs up on the hillside and probably more down on the other side of the cliff. What's a ruddy fang? The ruddy fangs are the biggest bandit pride this side of the scar. And probably south of the Scar, too. This bunch has been preying on refugees fleeing the dragons. As if they haven't lost enough. Shook me down, too. Bad. Is ESO better than Skyrim? No, definitely not. I'd say um, Skyrim's a very different game to ESO. ESO is like more of an MMO than a, a roleplay game. You can still roleplay in it. And there's lots of options and ways to play. But like ultimately, it's it's an MMO at heart. I'm not hiding, I'm waiting. Thought I might sneak into camp at an opportune moment and get back what's mine. But I've been out here for nearly a day now. I should probably just get back to Riverhold before I pass out. Just crouching in the grass for a day? You know, she's like the most blatantly obvious thing. She's wearing blue clothing as well. I can get your things back. What am I looking for? You do that? It's a backpack. Imperial Legion make. It was my husband's. It's just some personal items. Things he had before, before there were damn dragons. Sorry, I'm tired. And Goodbye. All right, so where do we need to go now? Let's go over there. All right, was well, not done over here. I saw you, traveler. Why do all outsiders insist on acting suspicious? I watched you go from location to location, just like the man with the pot on his head. Are you one of the soldiers intent on digging up every plot of land? Or are you simply a deviant who enjoys skulking and slinking through the wilderness? I'm definitely a deviant, but uh, what man with a pot on his head? It's probably Cadwell. Oh, do not play innocent with me, stranger. You must be working with that pale gaunt fool with the ridiculous moustache. <laughs> Else would you be visiting the same places that he did, unless... Are you an agent of the Usurper Queen? Thanks so much for the donation, Long John, and cheers, man. I will indeed keep up... Excuse me. Keep up the good work. You know, I actually got this Red Bull here from Tesco, and they had three different sizes. And this one is the 470 mil one that came with a mil deal. And so does the small one as well. They're, like, all the same price. I mean, why would you not go for the biggest one? I don't know. The Usurper Queen. Tell me more. Euraxia, the hated imperial who conquered Rimini and falsely claimed to be its queen. Do not feign ignorance, outsider. I had just about enough of that when I talked to the man with the pot on his head. I love this guy. Where did the man with the pot on his head go? Ugh, you sound as confused as he was. Kept talking to his pet lizard bird like he expected it to answer. <laughs> uh, the last I saw, he headed east. I suppose you'll find him in that direction. South of Riverhold. Right, right. I'll go and find the man with a pot on his head. The outsider with a pot on his head. Very interesting. Hello there. ESO playing ESO. ESOception. You slain Sif the Great Wolf, or are you playing through Dark Souls? That was so annoying. Like once I figured out his move set, it was it was okay. But like before that, God, that was frustrating. Hello there, zombie man. How are you? Aha! I think he may be over here, surrounded by this crowd of players. It was the strangest thing. I dreamed I was looking at this very gravestone. So here I came, and there it is, all solid and everything. Is that gravestone important, Cadwell? 
Important? I have no idea. I suppose it must be. I saw it in a dream, after all. Or was it a vision? I get those two confused. Anyway, I felt a sort of pull and stepped through it all, and then pish posh, on as a man from Gua, and here I am. Abner Thorn sent me to check on surges of power he detected, and here you are. Man, I love how he just looks like he's gone to the kitchen. He's literally got salt and pepper, look. And then he's just put on some frying pans and whatnot. And yeah, that's his armor. Pretty defensive guy, you know? He's ready for anything. Ready for those dragons. Thorn, you say, the grumpy battle mage. How is the old boy? The surges were probably just me. My portal took a few tries before we honed in on this exact location. Now, why don't you take a look at the gravestone and see what you make of it? Hmm? What happened to the other sites you visited? Well, it took a few tries to find the exact spot I saw in my dream. A number of frightfully rude lads and lasses occupied the first location I visited, demanding my surrender, if you can imagine such a thing. Naturally, I gave them the old heave-ho. The old heave-ho. I do that too sometimes, Cadwell. I saw that Bantam Guar rummaging around in a foul-smelling sack at one old salt. Foul smelling? I'll have you know that was my lunch. I can't believe I lost it. And if by Bantam Guar you mean my faithful steed, Honor, well, he's always getting into my foodstuffs. Has the appetite of a mammoth and the cunning of a fox, that one. <laughs> Did you dispatch the Orogrim? Orogrim, I found at one of the other sites. Dispatch? Why would I do such a terrible thing? I adore those adorable pudge buckets. Pudge I buckets? Like the was standing a little too close when I opened my portal. Poor thing fell in and took a nasty spill. When the neck bone snaps, it makes an awful sound. <laughs> I love Cadwell, he's fucking amazing. So this is the ancient gravestone. Here lies the head of the betrayer, whose name has been stricken from history. Apart from you even made him of gravestone, does really make sense. May the peace of his dismembered body remain hidden until Joan and Joad fall from the sky. Joan and Joad must be the dragons then. Potentially. Were the words the same for you? Sometimes written language likes to confuse me. Words change and switch places. Very annoying. Anyway, Wait. the gravestone mentions the betrayer. Sounds like an dastardly chap. I wonder if I ever met him. Why do you think you dreamed about this gravestone then? I don't have the slightest idea. The words inscribed upon it conjure up all kinds of questions, though. Who is this betrayer? Whom did he betray? Why did they bury only his head? And where did they put the rest of the poor fellow? I, I, I don't have a clue. Abnathan said, if I found you, I should ask if you can help us with Elsewhere's dragon problem. Dragons? I haven't battled a dragon since... You know, I, I, I can't remember. But I'm certain I fought one or two in my day. I was a gallant knight, after all. Of course I'll help. I just need to do a little more digging into this dream thing first. Literally. I'll see you soon. <laughs> okay. Did you hear that, my trusty shovel? Dragons! Let's head over to the next location. What is this game? It's the Elder Scrolls Online. So many people, whenever I play ESO, ask me, what is this game? It's like, it's been out for like, oh god, like five years now? I remember when it first came out. I was so excited. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a bloody dragon! Quick, Guards of White run. Oh my god, I have like the best view of this battle here. Jesus. There's a very blue dragon. Meanwhile, there's there's another player just shooting at it like... Like your arrows are going to do a giant FA to that dragoon. How can I get down here without killing myself? Well, it looks like the dragon absolutely screwed all of these people. Oh, now you show up. Left me to deal with a dragon all by myself. It's a good thing I'm Abner Tharn and not, well, some lesser mage. Wait, wait, you were dealing with it? Nice job dealing with it. I discouraged it. 
but not before it laid waste to most of the camp. We arrived to find the outpost being overrun by undead. As you do. Then the dragon attacked. I did what I could. I fear it wasn't enough. What about the power surges? Did you learn anything? Uh, yeah, I'm on EU servers. Enter name here is my, my username if you want to add me. Go ahead. You were right. It was Cadwell. He was drawn here to an old grave of someone called the Betrayer. The Betrayer? There's a betrayer mentioned in the legends of Kunzari. Mm. It seems those stories continue to harm me. No matter. We can deal with that later. Right now, I want to know about Cadwell. Has he agreed to lend us his support? You know, there's pretty much a betrayer mentioned in every story I know of. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you guys have watched Game of Thrones, I was so disappointed with the ending. Ugh. Oh. Not going to go into it, but Cadwell agreed to help, but you should know he's been having some strange dreams. That doesn't surprise me. Cadwell and Strange go together like hot bread and butter. That's true. I need to recover my strength. Driving off that dragon took a lot out of me. Why don't you go help Chimera while I keep watch in case the great beast returns? Oh, are you really fuzzy puzzy? Well, I hope you're enjoying it, mate. I really do. I feel like I shouldn't have even bothered watching the last episode. You mentioned the legends of Kazari. Kunzari. Yes. The of the Marithi that era. one. Most of the legends are unbelievable, though the Khajiiti moon singers guard the secret history. Their tales led me to the halls of Colossus. But let's save this for a less dangerous time. Tell me about Cadwell. Yeah, I already told you. Okay, so. Yeah, um, ESO has lots of DLCs. Let me let me quickly show you, actually. Um, so it has, like, chapters and... Where is... Where even is it? Special Obvious Crown... Oh, DLC, here it is. So if you have ESO Plus, which you don't need to get, it's, like, about $10 a month or something, then you can basically just get access to every single DLC that they've ever released. And you can just play for it, and then when you stop playing, you can just stop your subscription. Um, and then resubscribe when you want to play some other stuff. But to be honest, just the base game that you can literally get for like $10 one-off payment has tons of content in it anyway. Kamara. She's not going to be happy. Arriving too late. I did not expect to find our militia under assault by a horde of undead. And then the dragon... Oh, it tangles the tail of Walker. It truly does. It tangles my tail too, Kamara. What can I do to help? The militia was already depleted from the fight to liberate Riverhold, but we were determined to press on toward Rimen. Between the undead and the dragon, though, we can barely hold this portion of the outpost. Retreat is not an option. Not yet. Why can't you order the retreat? Our resistance to Euraxia's rule requires more than just soldiers. There are intelligence reports, safe house locations, lists of supporters, documents we cannot afford to lose. Search the ruined camp and locate the documents, Walker. All right, I shall. Are they important? They are vital to our efforts to free Rimmond from Euraxia's rule. And if her forces acquire them, those who help us will be exposed. Recover the documents from mail sacks in the camp and get them to Captain Nalado. So you want me to go through mail while you have dragons attacking you? Okay, I'll find the documents. Very well. Where's our other bro? He's... Okay, here we go. Recover the list of documents. Very important mission. Let's go through the mail, guys. Come on. Look at this armor set. Looks sick. That bow looks insane. Who are you shooting at, anyway? Oh, it's a zombie. Look out. Look out. Mate, you didn't even react. It's fucking zombie running past you. It's just in the camp now. Of course, I guess it's destroyed anyway, but that zombie's, I don't know. He's just going on an adventure. He didn't even attack the camp. Well, well. Let's have a look then. Let's find some hidden mail. A list of safe houses. Well, that's very useful for us. Anything in here? Oh, a crafting motif orc style. I will send that to someone in the chat if you're on the EU server. Just post your username at the end of the stream and I will send it to someone randomly.
yeah, it's not like Skyrim. It's it's a very different game. It's like a it's an MMO with a Elder Scrolls. I say paint job, but to be honest, like the lore and stuff is very immersive. Like if you enjoyed the lore of Skyrim and the stories, you'll definitely find that here. Khajiit has wares, if you have coin. Indeed. Fine, I'll walk all the way around. Do, 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 do. Just running around collecting sacks of letters for like Father Christmas or something. Are you in the naughty or nice list, Abnathan? Excuse me. Get wrecked. Give me that fleshy lava. I'm going to eat that later for my supper. Whee! Give me that steroid cat. He loves it. Excuse me, zombies. I've got some letters to find. Intelligence reports. Fantastic. So where's the captain at? Up here. It's literally an Argonian skeleton. Can you see that? Or is that a Khajiit skeleton? It could be a Khajiit skeleton. They both look similar. Captain, where are you? Oh yeah, I've got the uh, the jester um, personality, so my character runs around like a spaz. I think it's hilarious. So fascinated by the dead. Why don't you join oh Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Just picks him up on a fucking two handed sword. Jesus. This one doesn't know you, but at least you are a walking corpse. This one must ask, why are you here? What does this mean? We do this. I'm a car, the sleek. Kamara asked me to recover these documents and give them to you. Bright moons. Bright moons. Lost forever. You saved many lives at great risk to your own walker. That was like literally zero risk. Respect. This one will guard these documents with her life. Who did you just kill? That was one of your Roxia, the usurper queen's pet necromancer. His undead devastated our troops, so this one took pleasure in ending his existence. Now, Nalado must return to Riverhold to consult with Garashui. We must find a way to go on. Yeah, no, the stories in this game are really, really good. Like, they've put so much effort into them. Like, most MMOs, you just smash through the quests. Like, you don't care because they're all crap. But this one actually has really good stories. Yeraxia's chief necromancer, Zumag Fum, has been with her for some time. But our intelligence suggests his followers have only recently rallied to her side. Find Abnurthorn and Karmira. Tell them to meet us in Riverhold. No, you can play solo. You don't need to play with other people. I usually play on my own, to be honest. I'll find Abnurthorn and pass along this message. Righty ho. Here he is, just down the hill. There's a zombie attacking my, my giant steed. How rude indeed. Look at him, he's just an absolute pace machine. I've spotted dragons circling in the distance from time to time, but it doesn't look like the winged monster that attacked the camp will return today. Was your hunt successful? Did you recover? Yes, the yes, I found them. I must join them there. The Khajiiti forces have been decimated by this attack. I will take every strategy I can devise to help Garesh Ri prevent the collapse of his militia. To be honest, of so many undead, though. Yeah, it, do concerns. it does have moral decisions, but um, with ESO, I find the moral decisions don't. Apart from like your your mental um, feeling on the moral decisions you make, there's no real difference made in the game. Like, it's not like, oh, you've destroyed this city or this city's fine. 
It's just you knowing that you've done X or Y. So um, it's not like Skyrim, for example, when you you turn White Run into a Stormcloak um, held town versus like the siding with the Imperials or so on. It actually makes a difference, like in that sense. Yes, I read the reports. Zumog Foom and his necromancers working for my despicable half sister. Such magic leaves behind the miasma of stench and decay. It leads to the mountains to the west, but I can't pinpoint an exact location. I will track it for you because I can do everything for you, Abner Farn, and then you can you can reap the glory. Good idea. Dragons are bad enough, but undead tend to go on without end. Better to deal with them now before Euraxia's power becomes more than we can contain. Is this the first time a dragon has aided Euraxia's forces? In such a direct manner? Yes, as far as we know. It could have been coincidence, but the attack felt designed to hit us when it would do the most damage. I wanted to send Chimera with you to find the source, but I have no idea where she's gone. I will track down the source of the undead in the western mountains and keep an eye out for Chimera. Find the source of this army of undead. And if you see Chimera, send her back to Riverhold. She's as reckless as she is capable, which is a dangerous combination. Dangerous I'll indeed. I'll make my way back as well. After all, she didn't say she was going anywhere, though. In case you haven't noticed, we two don't always see eye to eye. She can be impetuous and obstinate, truth be told. Chimera gathered a handful of soldiers and took off to the west. Very well. West we go. Find the source of the undead. Let's do that. Skyrim VR made you feel sick. I haven't tried Skyrim VR. VR is just so expensive to get into. Like, I feel like it's it's one of those things. Oh my god, it's a bloody dragon. Jesus. I want to fight it. Oh, there's loads of players here. Can we fight it? Holy crap. Oh, look, it's actually on the map as, like, a target. Holy crap. Let's battle it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God, it's fucking one-hit killed me with something. I don't even know. Earth Spike. Jesus. That wasn't very nice. Better keep my distance. These dragons aren't messing around. Oh, it's shouting as well. Fuss for it off. Oh my god. Flame Aura and Tail Whip did literally two hits to me. Fuck me. To give you an idea, this character is fine on veteran dungeons, yet this dragon is mincing me. Okay, I'm just going to stand a mile away now. I really don't know its moveset. It's almost dead though. There you go, I helped. I helped kill it. Easy, mate. Look at that. Dragon killer achievement. Jesus Christ, look at the size of it. Crafty ring, half disguised document pouch. What's that? Dragon pellet. Found from the baby belly of a dragon. Sell to a merchant for gold. And dragon bile, which is a new crafting ingredient. <laughs> Look at this guy, he looks like an idiot. So that was actually like, on the map it just appeared as like a, a battle going on and all the players ran over here and were fighting it. That's an awesome idea, it's like a little instant instance boss battle. I assume these crafting ingredients are quite useful. That's not bad for a mage, but I don't think it's something that I'd be, like, farming or anything. Maybe on the right build. I don't know. Alright, let's head down to this, uh, location. Yeah, I definitely, uh, weighted the balance versus that dragon. A car, the Dovakin, clearly, you know, tips the balance in the people's favour there. It was all me, indeed. <laughs> I helped! <laughs> Exactly.
They've like nailed elsewhere though. I think uh, like the architecture and the environment's really nice. My Khajiit steed is so speedy. I'm just gonna ignore these side quests and go straight to the main one. It is live, yeah. What gear are you using? I'll quickly show you actually if you want. I'm actually working on it with this character, so he's definitely not fully equipped yet. But um, so what do we have? The don't need, yeah, so Braces of Hunding's Rage. I've got a full set of this, um, 160 CP. I need to upgrade it to Legendary still. That's so expensive, so I haven't like done that yet. Um, and it basically gives you weapons crit, max stamina, uh, and weapon damage as well. But mainly you want it for the weapons crit, and that's all divine as well. Um, and then I've also got Belts of Night Mother, uh, Night Mother's Gaze set, which I'm currently like, working on crafting. Uh, but that's only CP 150, because I forgot to upgrade it to 160, because I'm an idiot. Um, so I've got two of these at the moment, which basically increases your weapon critical. So I'm going to have a few of those, and then later I'm going to get like the Maelstrom bow and everything to upgrade my build even further. But it's just like the basic sort of beginner craftable set at the moment, which is still quite expensive to make. But I'll probably leave it at purple, and then I'll start farming all the other gear I need. Unfortunately, you can't sell it because um, it's equipped to your character. Can you find a giant size Khajiit? We've already seen the tiny size Khajiit. Mate, this uh, sent here I'm riding on is pretty giant. Oh, it's a griffin. Cool. That's from Somerset. I'm surprised they, they spawned them here. Ah, here we are. What do you want? What do you want? I did not expect to see you in this desolate place, Walker. Did Captain Nalado send you? Or look at this. Join us as look at this armor set. That face mask and shoulders voice. looks sick. Neither. Abnathan sent me to find out the source of the undead that attacked the outpost. Then our missions coincide. Indeed. We can work together to destroy the undead and slay the dragon. It will be glorious. When we finish with the hunting and the slaying, we can report our success to Lord Garashri. Yeah, no, I have got enchantments to... I've got, like, the glyphs ready to enchant them, but they're only CP 150, so there's no point in me wasting them on them. So I'm just going to, like, uh, get some more craft ingredients and craft better versions for CP 160. Abnothan said you should return to Riverhold. I do not take orders from that old battle mage. Besides... The blood of Khajiiti warriors cries for vengeance. To disregard that cry, that is not a shame I can bear. No, I must do this. I must strike back and show my people that hope survives. Powerful words, but it sounds risky. The worthy life is full of risk, Walker. Why does she call I me Walker? I knew that, given what you do. I will tell you a secret, though. Before my parents died, they gave me a pendant. As long as I wear it, Jode watches over me and provides his protection. To be honest, after seeing the cinematic trailer with her in it, I'm not surprised that Jode is watching over her. You have a pendant that's connected to Jode, though. To Jode, yes. But also to my family and heritage. I suppose you could call it an heirloom. It helps me in my role as agent for Lord Garesh Rhee, and that is all I will say about it. Now, let us go inside and find the necromancer and the dragon. Hell yes, let's do it. What class am I playing as? Nightblade. Um, stamina based Nightblade. DPS. You can literally like play a Nightblade. My girlfriend plays a Nightblade as a vampire mage. Um, which works with, like, uh, absorbing enemies' health, basically. It's pretty fun. Very unique build, to be honest. It has been a while. ROJ Justice Love, how are you, man? Are you still streaming yourself? You've been leveling a warden, and then you're going to do a necromancer. Yeah, I just... This is, like, my content character, so, like, all the content I do on him... Ha, lol, I just fired my bow and accidentally killed this sand roach. 
Rip Sandwich. We will go right. Walker, you stay left. Moons guide us. Alright, you go right. I'm guarantee I can't go that way, I guess. You can just walk through that door. Great. Are you guys coming with me or you just look at look at them, they look insane. I love it. <laughs> I love the zombies, they just like come out with you and uh, vom on you. That's what they do. Tyreek Rob, thank you so much for the donation. What's your rating on this game? So far, like... ESO in general, like, I quite enjoy it, but I think you've got to be, like, a special type of person to enjoy, like, the gameplay of an MMO. The DLC, like, I can't really give you an opinion yet at all, because uh, I've only been playing it for, like, a tiny bit, and we've only done the story. We've not really, like, battled uh, any of the cool bosses or new dungeons and stuff. But um, I'll let you know. We did come against a dragon, and I like the idea of, like, just having it flying around the map doing its own thing, and then players can, like run after it and kill it. I think that's pretty sick. Excuse me? Cut who down? What's going on there? Oh, the paths cross over. I see. Ah, an exiled sorcerer. Don't mind if I do. Nice necromancy bro. Didn't work out for you though, did it? Bad necromancer. Get wrecked. You need to have extra time to invest into Elder Scrolls Online. It's one of those MMOs, actually, that's, like, quite forgiving in terms of, you know, having to do so much stuff before you're, like, at the same place other players are at. So, I wouldn't say I'd agree with that, to be honest. It's very much one of those MMOs, like, because all the content scales to you. So, you can be, like, level 5 and you come into this area... And it will all just be scaled to your character. Um, same if you're like, you could like run around with me, for example. And the enemies are still going to be like, well, this isn't hard, but difficult for me. Um, even though we're like different levels. So I do quite like that idea they have behind how they scale their content. 34 gold, one rich zombo, please. But we can just melt these guys because I'm a spicy night blade with tons of damage. Yeah, the servers are in the US, you're right. Which explains why my ping some goes between 60 and 100. Destroy the necromancer! Destroy the necromancer. We're going to cut that conversation short, my friend. That's nice. Get wrecked some. What the hell? This was just like a spectating sport for you people. I almost died. LOL! They all got deleted. Follow the dragon. Well, okay. There's a giant rock there, but... Everything just so much cooler with dragons. It's always a successful formula to sell games. Dragons sells more games. Easy. That's it. You know, you can hire hire me for your marketing campaign. I'm currently available next month. Add dragons million dollar idea. What class is he using? Playing a Nightblade. Are you ever going to play as a necromancer? My girlfriend is. 
So I will, um, in my review video, where I talk about if it's worth grabbing this DLC. Jesus Christ! Oh wow, you look amazing. Look at this. Do you know Parthenax? Have you met Alduin? He is the king of your people. Do you know him? Hey? It's a different time period, but maybe you do. Look at him. He's trying to look at me, but he's too big. Hello. Look upon Mulan here in despair, morsel. You have no chance against me. No chance at all. But Mulamnir can be merciful. Oh, legend. Let us talk. Oh, sounds like an absolute badass. But let's be honest, the only reason we're talking is because you are scared of me. You decimated the Khajiit's defense force, and now you expect me to talk to you? Mulamnir wants you to understand the challenge before you. Our puppet, Eurexia. Commands a legion of soldiers, an army of necromancers, and a horde of undead. Add my dragon brothers, and the hopelessness of your cause becomes obvious. So you expect us to surrender? You and Abnathon are insignificant. But even an infinitesimal flea can irritate after it crawls beneath the scales. I offer you one last chance to survive. If you and the battle mage leave elsewhere, my brothers and I will not hunt you down. And if we refuse? Then you will die. But not before we slaughter your friends and set fire to elsewhere. What should we choose? Once we reduce this land to so much ash, only then will I tear you apart. So promises Mulamnir, whose claws have dealt a thousand deaths. Shall we, shall we be like, I'll tell Abnathan what you said because I'm a little bitch. Or should we be like, the next death ideal is going to be yours. Just say that to a fucking dragon. Just imagine that. He just deletes you on the spot. Lucky Daenerys isn't here. What is your highest level in Skyrim? Oh, it's like ridiculous. You can just carry on leveling now with the legendary skill, so I think it's a bit pointless. What is your highest level though? Probably, I think, 700 or something silly. The next death ideal is going to be yours. See if we can just battle him now. Yeah, why not? I think he'll fly away, though. He doesn't want to fight me. Leave elsewhere, little morsel. Tell the battle mage, if I see you again, you will die. You see, this, this is what I mean by your choices. You right? Like, uh, the choices you make, like this, like, no matter what he would have said, he would have had the same line of dialogue and done the same thing. Would be nice if they added, like, a little bit of flavour in terms of what you chose. Um, you know, like, something else happens, I don't know, he just, like, breathes fire on you. And you almost die, and then you wake up, like, somewhere else. And they were like, Jesus Christ, you can't battle a dragon on your own. <laughs> this person just reacted. That's funny. I heard what the dragon said. Perhaps my confidence was a bit misplaced. That creature was much bigger than it appeared when it flew over the camp. What happened after you leapt off the cliff? I never jump without first knowing where my feet will land. Also, I have very sharp claws. We lost so many today. The dragon, that Mulamir, it has much to answer for. It wants Abnathan and me to leave elsewhere. We defeated the necromancer and shut down one of their undead foundries. We need you and Tarn, despite my dislike of the man. But what the dragon intimated about Euraxia, it called her its puppet. Mm, I fear the dragons control the Rimen throne now. Right, let's go to Riverhold and inform Abnathon. Yes, you must do that. I will join you after... After I take care of the remains of my soldiers. They died bravely and deserved... 
All right, you take care of that, those corpses. Meanwhile, I think we have to go to here, I believe. Hmm, I'm just gonna travel to this way shrine here. Do, 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 do. Your decisions change NPC dialogues like in Skyrim. Yeah, but in Skyrim, like, um, you can physically sort of change a quest completely, like the outcome of it. Like, for example, someone dying or someone not liking you in the future and so on. Your, your decisions hold, like, more weight in terms of, like, the permanence of your decision. Where here, like, uh, it just changes the conversation or, like something almost inconsequential happens. I mean, I guess it's an MMO, but it would be nice to have a bit more weight to your decisions like other Elder Scrolls games have. That I appreciate it. It's like a lot of extra stuff to write into a game. Not asking for like Witcher levels of decision making, but you know what I mean. Nope, don't care Not about your quest. Do do do. The man with the pot on his head sounds like Jasper from Fable 3. Yeah, oh, fair enough. Alright, let's travel back to the city. Can I even... There we go. Yes. Save myself 150 gold. Wow, someone's trying to sell some green items for 100k. Ridiculous. Ridiculous scam artist. Right, we need to go into this building here. Actually, is it? What's up? Did I go to the right place? Oh god, I've got to go over here. Whoops. This one knows it was you. Can you play with Michelle Ross? Who? How about... Is that online? Yeah, this is online. Look at that building, it looks amazing. Cadwell, my boy. Oh, there you are. Spare a moment for a chit chat. Is he doing kick ups? If we've had this conversation already, then I wanted to thank you for the useful advice. But if I haven't seen since our talk at that mysterious gravestone, which seems much more likely, then I could really use your help. I only just got back. What's wrong? Did I mention the dreams? Visions, really? They come and go without warning, like seeing through someone else's eyes. Quite disconcerting in an interesting sort of way. Anyway, my trusty shovel and I, we searched that entire grave and it was gone. Ah, what was gone? Oh, the head, do you mean? The betrayer's head. The dreams, the uh, visions. They drew me there, but someone got to it before I did. I have the strangest sensation in the pit of my tummy. It could be the cobweb porridge I had for breakfast, or something bad is about to happen. Hmm, you think the betrayer's head has something to do with the dragons? Well, that's sort of like leaping from the cliffs of failure without a rope, or at least without tying the end off first. I can't tell you how many times I've made that mistake. Hello? Abner wants to see you. He's in the town hall with the cat general. All right. The cat general. Not Khajiit, the cat general. <laughs> I like how straightforward he is. At this point, we need to come up with a plan that takes into account Euraxians, Necromancers, and Dragons. I proposed a few options, but Goreshri wasn't sold on any of them. Tell me, what of Chimera and the source of the undead? Well, I'll release my review, I think, around around the 10th, I would have thought, next month. Chimera and I kill the Necromancers with the in the mountain, but Orexia has an army of them. You paint a troubling picture, my friend. Still, we need to celebrate every victory we achieve. I fear such triumphs will be few and far between. Do you have anything else to report? Hey, Zena, how's it going, mate? To get the full game, it's easily one hundred dollars. No, you can just get literally just pay fifteen dollars a month, and then you can just play what you want. You don't need to buy every DLC. 
I wouldn't recommend it, to be honest. In fact, I, I didn't do that. It's, mu it's worked out much cheaper. I spoke to the dragon Melamia. He said that Orexia was their puppet. He told us to leave elsewhere. My half-sister likes to think that she's in charge. She won't take kindly to being called a puppet. As for leaving elsewhere, I think not. Obviously, this Mulamnir fears us. Otherwise, the dragon wouldn't have deigned to talk to you. Indeed. Have you spoken to Cadwell? He's worried about the disturbed grave where you sent him to meet. Every conversation I have with Cadwell makes my head throb, but <laughs> one mystery at a time, if you please. Now, if only I could get my half-sister to listen to reason and see that the dragons are using her. Why not try that? Let's go and talk to your half-sister in Rimen. A parley? I may not like her, but we are family. Besides, it would give the Khajiit time to regroup. You're beginning to think like a thaw, my friend. Here, take this. Garish Ree gave it to me, but I refuse to accept payment for my services. A crypt cudgel. It sounds bloody useless, but the skill point's useful. A parley with Euraxia is a capital idea. I'll send word to Rimen to expect us. I imagine my half-sister will treat us as befits my station and agree to the meeting. Attend to any other matters if you must, then see me when you're ready to leave. Alright, let's come up with a plan for dealing with Eurexia. Eurexia. It just so happens I already have one. It involves distracting my half-sister with wit, charm, and words she barely comprehends. Oh, and you. Eurexia never could resist a pretty face. You'll pretend to be my bodyguard and personal valet. You want me to be your valet? Consider it obfuscation to hide your true purpose. We don't want to give Euraxia a reason to react poorly to overtures of reconciliation. Not that I expect to reach an accord, but still. Meet me in Rimen and we'll... All right, all right. Go on, go on. I'm capable of traveling to Rimen on my own. We're not very close, in case I haven't made that abundantly clear. Euraxia is an accomplished mage in her own right. My younger sibling has always been ambitious, but I didn't realize the extent of her aspirations until the Frostfall Coop. The Frostfall Coop. About six years ago or so, while Emperor Varen was busy with his rebellion, Euraxia took advantage of the confusion to lead a column of Nibbanese mercenaries into northern elsewhere. She declared herself Queen of Rimen and its adjacent fiefs. And everyone just let her do that. Of course not. The Khajiit call her the Usurper Queen, remember? Once Varen became Emperor, he had other problems to worry about. Same with Queen Irene. As long as the Alliance War occupies her forces, the Khajiit are on their own out here. Very well. Let's chat to these guys before we leave. This one hates the idea of talking to the Usurper Queen. We should be stabbing her in the neck. Still... Nalado sees the necessity, even if she doesn't like it. Euraxia will almost certainly betray you, so be careful when you face her, yes? Yep. By marching into elsewhere with a mercenary army and slaughtering our rightful Kajiti rulers. Not only did the usurper slay our king and queen, she murdered the rest of the royal family. Her crimes, they swarm around her like flesh flies on dung. Savage. A parley with the usurper queen. I doubt she'll agree to any sort of diplomatic solution. But it will buy us time to replenish our resources. Very well. Take Tharn and meet with Euraxia. In the meantime, we will rebuild what remains of the militia. Why do you prefer Euraxia? Refer to her as the... We already know that. She must. Yep. Okay. Let's head over to Euraxia's hideout and kill some zombos. Where is she anyway? Oh, there's another dragon there. Maybe we can go and see that. It is across the other side of the map though. Hmm. That's where you want to go. Alright, let's just go to the way shrine and fast travel then. It is a new chapter. Effectively just a big DLC is what that means. What level are you? Uh, champion level 363 on this character. It ceases to really matter that much once you're past 160 though. 
Ah, uh, I want to go over there and kill the dragon, but I don't have any way shrines near it. Rip. What's with the movement? Oh, uh, my character. So there's different personalities you can get. My character has the jester personality, which makes the, him walk like this because he's a funny guy, you know? I expected sorrow and despair, but the situation here goes beyond even my prophetic inklings. Are you sure? Rimmer looks peaceful to me. On the surface, yes. But peace through tyranny provides false harmony. Euraxia uses fear and threats of violence to keep the Khajiit in line, making them second-class citizens in their own province. It appalls me to think Euraxia and I are related. Fear and threats of violence? What do you mean, exactly? It would be better if I showed you. Follow me and I'll demonstrate the true depths of my half-sister's villainy. All right. The grip on Rimmon is far tighter than it appears. Show me. Very well. But what I'm about to show you isn't for the faint of heart. Turn away, guys, if you're not ready for this. Have you ever visited a Rimmon work? I really need to fucking run away they from me. They treat the Khajiiti workers worse than slaves. Sounds like the modern day environment. Whoa, big easy, three hundred dollar donation. Holy shit! Thank you so much. I thought I'd say congratulations on the engagement, wishing the best, it's and here's a little engagement gift. Bloody hell, man. Thank you so much. That's actually going to help out with the wedding massively, man. Jesus Christ. That's the biggest donation anyone's ever given me. Thank you so much, man. What? Wow. Cheers, buddy. That is crazy. The workhouse serves to snare the poor and the destitute, those who fall behind on their debts. They come here to find employment and earn a decent wage, but the costs deducted to pay for room and board leave them worse off than they were before. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. That's, that's amazing. Thank you so much, dude. That is massive. <laughs> it's like literally like more revenue than this video will probably get with AdSense and stuff. That's crazy, man. Thank you, dude, really. That means a lot to me. And thanks for the, the compliments on the engagement, guys. Like, honestly, meeting meeting the right other half in, in my life is like the best thing that's ever happened to me as well. So um, I, I wish you guys all the best with that, with that quest in your life. Man, Big Easy is his name. He's, at, he's like the chief donator on the channel, actually. The workhouse accepts only Khajiit workers. Maybe I can work there. One of the first things Euraxia did after declaring herself queen was to institute tariffs and fines that apply only to Khajiiti citizens. No one else needs the workhouse. A cruel tactic, but effective. There's nothing the Khajiit can do? The Rimin Khajiit? No. Any complaints incur fines for causing a public disturbance or some other inane ordinance. No one wants to risk falling even further into debt. It's ingenious. Monstrous, but ingenious. It's literally slavery. Oh, Euraxia is clever. She pays the Khajiiti, and the workhouse isn't technically a prison. On the surface, it appears to be a place that helps society's unfortunates, but underneath... It's slavery without any of the uncomfortable trappings. How? Yeah, let's move on. Now, let's visit the Rimmon Marketplace. Here's some Khajiiti guard for the royal wedding, for sure. <laughs> I will indeed hire some. You know, I actually, I'm Take working. Business seems to be thriving, but appearances can be deceiving. I am not deceived. Whoa, Anish Kumar, 100. I do not know what that that um, symbol is. It looks wacky. Is it an is it an Elder Scrolls currency? <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation. First time watching here, so long time viewer of your channel. Yet to kill Al Alduin. Oh, you have such a quest in front of you, my friend. Oh shit, I did not mean to- sorry Abner, I didn't mean to just turn into a bloody werewolf in front of you. Let's, I'll chill out now, there we go. 
It may be hard to see, but the Khajiiti merchants struggle to keep their stalls open while the less bestial business people rake in the profits. Euraxia would have you believe it's a matter of work ethic, but we know better. You're saying the Khajiit merchants are treated unfairly? Unfairly doesn't begin to cover it. Khajiiti merchants must deal with high tariffs, extra inspection fees, costly licenses. Euraxia is squeezing them for every piece of gold imaginable. She even instituted a fur tax. A fur tax? On the surface, it seems reasonable to make Khajiiti pay for extra inspections to ensure their fur isn't getting into the products they sell. And while they do shed, it's just another way to discriminate against the rightful citizens of this land. Let's move on. That's creepy, but Come it makes on. sense. I want to show you the improvements Euraxia made to the palace wall. Oh boy. 100 septums. Rupees. Indian rupee, yes. It may only be two dollars, but I appreciate the donation still, man. Notice how they're aimed into the city below. Wait, they're not they're not aimed into the city below though. Those tribuches are aiming outside. Oh no, they are. They are aimed into the city. But tribuches can't fire that short range. It doesn't really make sense. See how the siege weapons sit upon the walls? When it comes right down to it, you're looking at the secret of my half-sister's success. What do you mean? How else do you think Euraxia maintains order and keeps the elsewhere defense force at bay? She declared publicly and has repeated often that any attempt to liberate Rimen will see her unleash the full fury of the siege weapons upon the city. So she'd destroy her own city? If Euraxia can't have Rimen, then neither can anyone else. She'd destroy the city in a heartbeat if she thought she was in danger of losing control. Of course, she tells her non-bestial subjects that only the Pejiti districts are targeted. Can they really target weapons that precisely? Absolutely not. But the lie makes her supporters feel better. The Khajiit know that even a peaceful protest could result in the destruction of Rimen. So far, no one has dared to challenge Euraxia's will in this matter, and for good reason. I think it's time we went and had a talk with Euraxia Tharn. When we get to the palace, let me do the talking. Well, look at this! Tharn, Looks insane! My dominance over Euraxia and negotiate a cessation God damn! Of I want this mount. That mount looks insane, man. Look at that. It's got, like, insanely cool armor and stuff. The palace looks amazing. Jesus Christ. They've done such a good job with this area, this zone, as it were. You're watching my ESO Skyrim walkthrough for the first time. Man, I love the bugs in that walkthrough. It's so funny. <laughs> ah, here come Queen Euraxia's guests now. I don't like the looks of these meddlers. I say we feed them to the dragons and be done with it. Cadwell the Betrayer? What? I know you. I saw you through the soul shriven's eyes. You were with the fool who thinks himself the shining knight of Sirod. If only he knew what a monster I was. The horrors of Cold Harbor pale before my heinous deeds. Your Cadwell's head. I am my own head, yes. I am the hero of Sirod and the villain of Elsewhere, the champion of the third Nedic massacre and the dark knight they call the Betrayer. You're on the Cadwell I know. Of course not, I am the genuine article, much more real than a disembodied soul given shape in the flesh cauldrons of oblivion. But why do you presume to talk to me? I have killed greater beings than you for much, much less. You're a betrayer mentioned in the gravestone. Came to that conclusion by yourself, did you? <laughs> That's what they caught me. There's a certain ring to it, but I always preferred my more grandiose titles. Champion. Slayer. 
Dark Knight. Dark Knight. When I made all the cats will pay for what he did to me. All right, Batman. So you're Abner Tharn's bodyguard and valet. Not what I expected. I assume you want to follow your master into the Queen's inner sanctum, huh? I'll allow it. But first, I want to gauge the measure of your marrow. And you're one of the necromancers. He looks pretty awesome for an orc. I am Queen Yaraxia's chief necromancer. You may call me Sumog Foom. The other <laughs> grave callers answer to me. And this is my familiar and confidant, Sir Cadwell the Betrayer. <laughs> Cadwell's head. Ah, yes. The Betrayer saw you when it looked through the soul shriven's eyes. The creature you know is a pale shadow of the dark night that once walked these lands. I exhumed his remains and reanimated him. Well, his head. It was all I could find. My actions don't concern you. I just wanted to meet Abner Tharn's lackey and determine if Queen Eurexia had anything to fear. The answer is quite clear. Your insignificance rivals that of the soul-shriven fool, which makes you eminently forgettable. Well, we defeated more like Bow. the rest of my body, oh pestilent one. Your insults won't hasten the process, betrayer. But there's a terrible draft in what used to be my nether regions. <laughs> Dance. Look at this. Presenting Abner Thorn, Grand Chancellor and Overlord of Nibine, Imperial Battle Mage of the Elder Council, and Patriarch of the Thorn Dynasty, and his bodyguard. Ah, brother, your arrival, it's so unexceptional. Pretending to be a queen... Hush, is... Abner, you bore me. <laughs> Bodyguard. Shut down. You look interesting. Come talk to me. You heard her. Good luck. My sources indicated that my half-brother's associate was somewhat taller. Oh, well. Now, why in the world should I even consider negotiating with members of the losing side? We came to warn you the dragons consider you a puppet and they plan to betray you. A warning? How thoughtful. You do know that I defeated the Khajiiti army and took control of the Rimen throne? I am no one's puppet, I assure you. But why do you suppose I have anything to do with dragons? We can intimidate her or persuade her. There's no need to play games with me. Um, the dragon admitted your alliance when we spoke. Sweet talk? From an associate of my half-brother? <laughs> I'm flattered. Shall we retire to the dungeons? We'll engage in the most interesting activities, you and I. You'll positively beg for mercy right up until okay. the end, and then I'll give you to Foom. Sounds very kinky. You're no fool, Queen Arexia. You know Malmanar will destroy you once he has served your purpose. Once you've served your purpose. Do not attempt to sway me with your silver tongue. Mulamir and I have a special relationship. An understanding. Kinky. The dragons will secure my hold over elsewhere, and there's nothing you or my pathetic half-brother can do to stop them. Think about it. You're doing exactly what Malmona wants you to do. Look how sad she is. <laughs> She's so upset. Enough. Zumog Foom, what news do you bring? The desert wind adaptorium has fallen. We move against Riverhold on your word. Then the word is given. Now, half-brother. Treachery? How could I ever have anticipated this? Guards, take them to the dungeons. I think not. Ah, oh, what the hell? Palace recesses. Thought I was going to get to battle in the throne room. How's the update so far? Yeah, good fun. Just absorbing the lore at the moment. Well, 
I suppose that could have gone better. Uh, where are we now, and how did we get it? I prepared for Euraxia's probable betrayal. Unfortunately, my teleport spell wasn't quite able to penetrate the palace wards. So we wound up down here. We heard two things of note. First, Euraxian forces have invaded the Desert Wind Adeptorium for some insidious purpose. And second, my vile half-sister ordered an attack on Riverhold. We need to warn. One thing at a time, my companion. One thing at a time. I need to recover my strength after teleporting us into this skeever hole. I'll need your help to get out of here. Then we can Easy, mate. Desert Stay wind. close. I got you, fam. Let's get out of this skeever infested area. Can't even see any enemies. What are you worried about, Abnathon? No one even down here, mate. What's that? A river troll? Do I need to go that way? No. I will avoid the river troll like the plague. Oh, a salamander. I can hate these things. Get wrecked, salamander. You foolish creature. Oh, wait. I went the wrong way. We need to go through here. Excuse me, Mr. Rat. Not today. What's in here? Then? There's like a little secret area here. Ooh, what's in here? Ah. A strange place with some soul gems. It's quite a nice little area. Someone's doing some shisha. There's a sack. Who lives down here anyway? A gong. What a strange little place. Oh, a law book. Nice. I'll take that sword. Sell that on eBay, mate. See you later. Thanks for joining. That was a convoluted way to ask, but oh well. Oh, I didn't know what you were saying now. I'm not a traitor. You're a traitor. Screw you. Easy, mate. Get wrecked. Gets me out of here. The way out, finally. I can't abide another moment in this stench. Smells good, mate. I don't know what you're talking about. You hate modding Skyrim. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a slog. I do agree. A dragon. Look, it's a dragon. I want to battle another dragon on the map. That'd be fun. What do you guys think of it so far? Like what you've seen? Well, that's an experience I won't be adding to my memoirs. We'll separate here. Make it harder for Euraxia's lackeys to follow us. Using the hunting rages swords. We failed. The party was a disaster. Now, now. Things actually turned out better than I expected. We know that, that was good for you. Something from the Desert Wind Adatorium, and we know she's about to launch a counter strike against Riverhold. There's no way I can be in two places at the same time. That's not exactly true. If my power wasn't depleted, well, let's not digress. I'll go to Riverhold and warn Garish Re. We'll make sure the city is ready for the attack. Meanwhile, you find out what's happening at the Desert Wind Adatorium. Where is that? Adeptoriums serve the same function as monasteries in other parts of Tamriel. Desert Wind and its adepts follow the order of Jean Kaj. It's west of here, on the northern lip of the Scar. Look for a side entrance if the main door is blocked. All right, all right, let's go there. Let's, that sounds like a dungeon. I like that. Uh, so, it's here. That's where I need to go. Let's just travel to the way shrine. We're literally inside the city still. Do 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 do. We. We. 
Khajiiti merchant, I'm going to sell you some of my wares. Have this dragon pelt. Uh, I'm going to keep this actually because I want to disenchant it. Great. You like it. I wasn't here from the beginning, but what I've seen so far, I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? Do you like playing it? Do you prefer something else? Well, to be honest, like, right now, it's just, like, reading a book for me, basically. I'm just, like, reading the lore and enjoying it. I haven't really done much fighting at all. Um, it's been very lore-heavy. There is a dragon here. Maybe we can make it there. Let's let's go there. We can battle a dragon. Lord Shroud. ESO, you clearly didn't invest any points into speech. Rip. Your pitiful attempts to woe her over was terrible. Mike the liar is disappointed. You shall sell your wares to no one. <laughs> well, thanks for the donation. Maybe I can use this money to improve my speech skills. Come, we must try and get to this dragon before it's dead. People are lost with ESO due to the name. Indeed. Do I still play Skyrim? Yeah, I released a Skyrim video linked at the top of the description there with secret things you did not know about Skyrim. Look at that temple. That's where we're going in a minute. But first, we need to find this dragon and defeat it. It's currently under attack, so hopefully we can get there before it dies. It's over here. It actually kind of moves around as well. Like it doesn't sort of stay stagnant. I'm not the only person riding out. Oh, balls. Fucking hit me off my horse, you dickheads. No, I need to get to the dragon. Leave me alone. Oh, Jesus. Big tiger kitty cat. There he is. Oh, boy. He's not happy to see us. I love how they actually have dragon battles. It's insane. Oh, really? That did not hit me. Earth Spike. Kills me in one hit. Apparently that hit me. That's bullshit. <laughs> that did not fucking hit me. Oh my god, there's a bloody bombing run and just deletes everyone. All you can see is resurrection masks of all the people who have died. I think it's a fact of life that you will die. Oh, yeah, get wrecked, son. Look at those toes. Some dragon toes. Half dragon blood. Oh, that's new as well. We didn't get that last time. Undertaker's ring as well. That's nice. Look at him. Oh, my God. I thought he had, like, a star through his head, but he didn't. Look at his eye. Looks insane. It's this dead dragon. Look how many people it took to kill him. There's so many people here. Good 50 people or something. Ridiculous. Right, now I've got to head... Oh wait, there's another dragon spawned. Just there. Let's go. Oh look, you can see it over there. It's still flying in the air though. Let's follow it until it lands and then kill it. Hell yes. Oh, there's a, a world boss that spawns here as well. Where's the other dragon then? Oh, it looks flying over here. Can I see it? Can't even see it from here. It's literally behind this giant city wall here. But you saw it fly across the map though. That's pretty sick. Everyone's waiting for this world boss to spawn. <laughs> What's your favourite Elder Scrolls glitch? Oh... I find it quite funny when um, there's that there's a bug at the Thalma Embassy um, that happened on my Let's Play of Skyrim Special Edition. That was really funny. So I recommend watching that if you haven't already. I'm not going to wait here though. Because that would be boring. Let's go and continue on with the main quest. We kill dragons in between. Just as you do. 
Get out of my way, camel. Wee. Parkour didn't work out for us. Guarantee the front entrance is locked. No Uraxian enter this holy place. Who's talking? Hello? This door is open from the other side. Rip. Who was talking to me then? I'm really confused. Alright, let's go and have a look for another entrance anyway. A secret side... Oh, wow. So secret. So secret. Wait, is this even an entrance? No, it's a window. Confused. Aha. Here it is. Hidden. Little cave here. The Desert Wind Caverns Delve. It's just a little dungeon. Red Dead 2. <laughs> he said he played Fortnite. I don't know why it's such a huge trend. Neither do I, mate. No, I never even played it. never even tried it. I play League of Legends. That's my, like, competitive game. Which is actually, like, I really enjoy that game. <laughs> my girlfriend's actually in a Plat 2 now, I think. Working the way to Diamond. I'm not that good, though, unfortunately. As a sky shard. As a sky shard. How do I get it, though? How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Someone spawned right in front of me. I did not see that coming. Die, mage. How do you get up there for the sky shot? Must be a way up. Maybe you can drop down from somewhere. Yeah, it looks like you drop down later. Reminds me in the chat, guys, to pick that up. So we have to go over here. Yeet! Get Rex, son. That's why you play a Khajiit, so you just crit everyone. I'm tired of playing Fortnite. I really. RIP. I can't say I'm surprised, to be honest. This is a shortcut. Why are they just running past me? Lol, look at him. Where are you going? <laughs> That's what happens when you have lots of players running past enemies. <laughs> they just like run back to where they spawn. Lol! Oh, look at this. This is sick. Oh, that's amazing. Give me a monk class, ESO. Look at that. I want to play that. Oh, stealthy Khajiit is stealthy. I didn't even see the statue there. It was so stealthy. My god. 10 out of 10 sneak. Yeah, the my, my computer usually runs this at a very smooth 60 plus FPS, but um, it's just a little bit jaggedy. Like, it's not as smooth as usual, so I don't really know what's going on there. I don't know, okay? I don't know. Right. Invaders, this one will not allow you to enter this holy place. They're pointing at me or over my head. I'm not sure. You do not look like one of the Usurper Queen's soldiers. Who are you? And what are you doing down here? I work with you. I heard about the attack and the Abtorium and came to help. The Speaker of the Main sent you? This one expected we were on our own, what with the dragons and the battles to the north. Zamarak came down here to seal this path, but now he thinks the Uraxians seek the Grand Adept. What would the Uraxian soldiers want with the Grand Adept? Desert Wind holds many Kajiti secrets. Ooh. The keeper of those secrets is the Grand Adept. If you truly want to help, follow Zamarak to the Grand Adept's chambers. I'm actually a spy. I'm going to assassinate him. 
Drax was next to the statue. He was just standing really still. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. How hold can you hold it is the question. How long indeed. Let's let's test this out. I'm going to go to the toilet. One sec. I'll just chair. This could be a while. We'll place bets, okay? How long do you think you'll hold it? How long? Give give me your numbers. Indefinitely. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to the toilet quickly. I will BRB and we'll see if he how long he can really hold this door. He's shaking already. I found, I found the Khajiit, guys. Oh, it's a Khajiit. Oh, what's that? Are you going to say hello to everyone? Khajiit. Who's dead? He's still holding it, guys. Surprise. Indeed. It's actually, this is this is actually the king of the Khajiits. You guys just didn't know it. The king of the Khajiits. <laughs> the king of the Khajiits. We. We need to play the Lion King music, but I don't have like a stream button for it. All right, bro. I'm going to put you down now. Right, so this guy's still holding the door, so clearly he's he's an absolute machine. Oh! <laughs> it's like I just dabbed away from him there. <laughs> I was just taking the piss out of him, like, Oh, I know you could hold the door a lot longer. Ah, oh, we have an epic boss battle, my friends. Let's do it. Am I, though... Will you though? Oh shit, the water's fucking electricity. That's clever, I see what you did there. But unfortunately for you, I am too powerful. Oh! Oh! What, <laughs> what was that? What just happened? Okay. Let's follow her. It was like, it's like the uh, those creepy horror movies where you see someone getting dragged back under the bed. Sorry, I took so long, guys. Didn't realize you were upset. Oh, you got chained up, motherfucker. Help me! Don't let Zumoth Foom take my soul. What's happening to you? Zumoth Foom. This is the necromancer's doing. Even in death, I continue to serve. Why? He called it a blessing. Said it would protect me. Damn him. He claimed my soul. Please, you must help me. Release me from this curse. Tell me what you came here for, and I'll try and set you free. We came for an ancient secret. Protected by the Grand Adept. She put up a good fight. I'll give her that. 
Zumok Foom seeks the location of the betrayer's body parts. I learned where the dismembered corpse was hidden. Now, please help me. All right, all right, I'll try. Oh no, sorry, you're dead. Secret belongs to me. Rip you. What the battle mage knew in life, she whispers to me in death. Soon Riverhold will fall, and the betrayer will be restored. Headshot. Whoa, bro. Let the fourth wind open the way. Jesus Christ, bro. No. Zamarak has failed. This one was too slow. You have failed. Again. What has happened here? Who killed the Grand Adept? It was me. <laughs> I told you I'd assassinate her. One of your axe's battle mates just killed her, but I was too late to save the Grand Adept. Seems way too convenient. <laughs> Zamarak thanks you for avenging the Grand Adept. But why did they attack this peaceful Adeptorium? Why kill a harmless old student of the Desert Winds? It's as you suspected. They sought one of the Grand Adept's secrets. Unfortunately, they succeeded. The Usurper Queen made a mistake when she had the Grand Adept killed. Whatever they came to find had an unintended consequence. It has roused the students of the Desert Winds. Zamarak pledges the adepts to Garishri's cause. Euraxia will fall. Then, take the adepts to Riverhold, and uh, that's where Euraxia plans to strike next, yeah. We are not many, but we are strong. Clearly, very strong. Now, pick up this corpse and take it with you. I do not want it here in this dungeon. Oh, I will take that recipe, my friend. Is there anything in here before I leave? Oh, somebody's already looted this. How rude. How rude indeed. So much moonstone. It's the Khajiit crafting material. Alright, let's head off. And exit this dungeon. I believe we are done here. Now we need to defend the city. You have a code for the DLC. Oh, you should play it then. What are you doing? Chill out, man. It's okay, it's just me. Help me, wounded. I like how he just walked past him. Didn't even give a crap. Alright, let's head outside. Talk to Abnathan. Ah, oh, Movikin, thank you for subscribing. I swear you were already subscribed on Twitch. Or were you not? At least you're always here for the stream. But thank you for the subscription as well, man. So hype for the Elder Scrolls 6. Let that hype continue for the next years to come. <laughs> oh boy. This is the m most redonkulous walk run I have ever seen. Yeah. It's the jester personality. It's amazing, isn't it? I love it. I like to play a creepy Nightblade who just looks incredibly spooky and weird. Oh, another dragon! Another dragon! Let's go and battle it, guys. And see it in the distance. The Dracoon. There's actually one to the south as well. That's interesting. Oh, shit. Didn't know I was going to attack there. Go, 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 go! Exactly. Yeah, you can play in first person as well. Um, I will show you when we fight this dragon, but it's so much harder to like dodge stuff and whatnot. Oh, did I come too late? No, no, the dragon's over there. You can see it flying around. We need to get it to land, guys. This is the henchest mount I've ever seen in my life. Just the the width of those shoulders is staggering. Where even is it? It's a dragon and I can't see it, guys. Something has gone terribly wrong. How do I get up there? I want to fight the dragon. How do you get up there? Is it this way? I think it could be this way. I'm not sure there. Aha! It is this way. 
Oh, Jesus. It's kicking off now. Watch out for the comet. Oh, Shiza, that's going to kill me. Oh, my God. Couldn't even get outside of it in time with a roll. 24,000 damage. It's not messing around. I actually still got the kill, but... And leveled up. Ruffle! <laughs> Somehow. A red dragon. Dragon's treasure. 1,000 gold. Salvage from the belly of a dragon. Does he just eat his treasure and carry it around with him? Maybe he does. Maybe that's how dragons work, guys. Alright, let's go and speak to our boy Abnathon. I'm going to run over there to save myself 150 gold because I'm a cheapskate. Whee! Oh, I'm on fire. Rip. He's up here. Excuse me, zombos. Where do you get out of this camp, anyway? Oh, it's this way. Oh, no, it's not. At this point, I'm just going to fast travel. Please leave me alone, skeleton. Right. Yes, worth. Dragon needs way more than fiber to move all those adventurers, literally. The DLC just came out, yeah. Came out today, early access on PC. Let's go and speak to our boy, Abner Farm. It's like I'm riding a fucking big ass bear or something. Look at that. Look at the shoulders on that boy. I love it. Why do you think dragon scales as hard as metal? They just eat all the shingle. Yeah, that makes sense. I informed Garesh Ri and Kamira about what happened in Rimen. They're mobilizing our remaining forces even as we speak. Now, tell me, what did you learn at the Desert Wind Adeptorium? Well, we were sent to get information um, and he wants to recover the betrayer's body. We already knew that from our first conversation, but yep, now we know for sure, I guess. I often wondered who Cadwell was before he became a soul shriven. I know the tales of the betrayer, but I never equated the two. Cadwell, we know, is so not that. We'll deal with Zumog Foom after we save Riverhold. Anything else to report? The surviving desert winds adepts are coming to help defend the city. Well, that's a bit of welcome news. Many of the adepts have remarkable martial skills that we could surely make use of. Speaking of which, are you ready to help defend the city? What do you need me to do? For now, recover your strength and prepare yourself. Ooh. Euraxia's forces will arrive soon, and we'll need you ready for the battle to come. And here, take this. Multiple Cadwells, necromancers, dragons, and now Euraxian soldiers marching on Riverhold. This day just keeps getting better and better. Regardless, there's much to do and not a lot of time to do it. At least I made it back before the soldiers started their attack. Yes, but Garish Ree's scouts report that they're on their way. Our parley seems to have aroused Euraxia's anger. What remains of Elsewhere's militia has taken up positions around town, but I fear they are too few in number. They need your help. What do you want me to do? Garish Re has placed the defense of the city in Kamira's hands. She moves the Desert Wind Adepts, every volunteer she could muster, and what remains of the militia like pieces on a game board. Report to her, and she'll give you your orders. All right. Find Chimera outside and see what she requires. Euraxian soldiers will soon reach Riverhold. When that, you must have taken a more serious beating than I thought at Desert Wind. Oh, very well. 
After I inadvertently had some small part in releasing the dragons from the halls of Colossus, it was your I fault. I came to elsewhere to find a way to rectify the situation. And you sent for me to help. So your memory isn't totally addled? Yes. But we discovered that the Khajiit had more to deal with than just the dragons. My half-sister, Euraxia, the usurper queen of Rimen, has aligned with the great beasts and necromancers to conquer elsewhere. Anything else you need to know? Just that Cadwell, the gallant knight of Cold Harbor, seems to be involved. Well, his physical remains, anyway. Zumog Foom seeks Cadwell the betrayer's severed body parts in order to restore the evil knight. To what end? I have no idea. Tell me about Cadwell the betrayer, then. According to Kajiti legend, Cadwell the Betrayer was one of the heroes who helped Kunzari imprison the dragons in the halls of Colossus. Euraxia employs the necromancer Zumog Foom and his cadre of dark mages. He reanimated Cadwell's head. Indeed he did. Right, let's chat to the Lord. I sent Camira out to coordinate the city's defenses while Tharn and I continue to refine our strategy. Can we hold this city? Or should we fall back? I hope the battle mage can pull a miracle out of his ear. But we cannot count on that. Why did you put Chimera in charge of the city's defenses anyway? Are you crazy? Chimera knows Riverhold and its people well. Her training has prepared her for this. She is more than capable of organizing our defenses and converting our strategies into actionable tactics. She is very good at getting things done. You really think Euraxia will attack the city? When Euraxia first conquered our home, she occupied the entire upper tier of Northern Elsewhere, from Riverhold to Rimen. It took many years and much blood to retake the Northwest and confine her to Rimen. I have no doubt she will attack. You actually hold out against Euraxia's forces, though. It won't be easy. But our strategy is sound and Kamira excels at executing tactics. Between Captain Nalado's remaining warriors and the Desert Wind Adepts you brought, we should have the forces we need. Provided Euraxia does not send a dragon. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Otherwise we'll have to battle a dragon. Easy, easy mate. <coughs> I've been doing well, thanks, Mo. Sorry it took me a while to reply there. Apparently, this lady is at the stables. Let's go and have a chat to her. We need your card to help Barak. <laughs> I knew nothing good would come of Abner Tharn's efforts to make peace with the usurper queen. Now she turns her attention to Riverhold. We must protect the city, no matter what Euraxia throws at us. Tharn said to report to you for my orders. So many have answered the call. Zamarak and the Desert Wind Adepts, the people of Riverhold. Even that strange Cadwell. And now you, Five Claw. Excellent. I have things that need to be done, but not enough hands to do them. If you are willing. Tell me what you need to do. I'm playing a Nightblade D1100. The outlying farms are vulnerable to attack. We need to get the farmers inside the walls before Euraxia's forces arrive. Fair enough, let's do that. That'll be easy, mate. Will he indeed? Yes, Captain. The scouts report the Euraxians are marching in this Apparently the farmers are over here, minding their own business. In the northwest area. I'm just looking forward to a dragon attacking the city. I think that's going to be pretty funny. Oh, there's little. We should probably close this entrance. It's kind of like a secret entrance into the city there. There's another dragon flying around there as well. New tea. New tea. Very new tea. Don't mind me just riding through to warn the farmers. Here. We expected an attack from oh, the damn. south. But they somehow encircled the town. Get Rexum. 
Farmers, are you here? You need yes. to GTFO. Who are you to burst into our home without permission? Wait, this one recognizes the brawny adept standing behind you. What do you want with Zazi and her family? We came to warn you about the attack. You need to get into the town. The Euraxians are already here. They seem to be searching for something. Though so far, they have left us alone. But this one's mate and brother, Kinaro and Hirsch, they are still in the fields. And we will not... All right, all right. We'll save you. Don't worry. This one's son plans to join the militia. Zazi would rather keep him safe, but... All right, all right. Where so did your mate like to hide? A few small, small caves. caves. We got it. We got this. I'm gonna rob you before we leave, and then I'll help you out. One second. Hey, you do no such thing. Excuse me, motherfucker. I do what I like. Okay. This is worth a lot of money. Ah, some a law book as well. Interesting. A nightstand. That's worth a hundred gold. Getting more money here than I am by killing dragons, mate. Of course I'm going to be robbing up this farm lady. I got this. Never played, though, due to lost account. Never bothered to make another one. Highly regretting. To be honest, if you have, like, a proof of purchase, they'll get your account back. You don't need to worry about that. Just email the support team. They're so helpful whenever I email them. Wait, was that a chest? No, it wasn't. I'm seeing things. Ah, they're, they're, he's in this cave then, I guess. Sneaky, sneaky Khajiit in my really hench mount. Stay back. Go away. Haven't you done enough? I'm not one of your exeus soldiers. Zazi, is she safe? Thank John and Jude. Dark moons, what a disaster. The soldiers appeared and Who are they looking for? I heard one of the soldiers mention body parts. Oh, so the body parts are around here. But this In that case, we should really be defending this area. Otherwise, we're going to get screwed. Uh, where do we need to go now? Oh, there's another dragon there. Do you want to fight it? Looks like it could be dead, though. Very soon. Let's go back home and talk to the other farmer. Who's that? Hello? What do you want? Hell. Ah shit. Fucking die wolf behind me, mate. Where's Jon Snow? Oh sh I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I did not mean to attack these innocent civilians. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh boy. I've got 1,000 gold bounty now. That is not good. We're going to have to sell some of this stolen stuff here. I already have this. Ah, well, better delete us. The... Uh, what else do I have that I don't need? 200 lockpicks. Jesus Christ. Jesus. You've been looking a long time for an online game. Well, this one's been out for like five years, man. Um... Surprised if you've just found it, to be honest. One sec, what is that? Can I open it? No. A glazed jug. Yeah, I'm gonna take that too. That's mine now. Ha ha ha. Alright, let's go back to the camp. I may have killed some innocent civilians, but uh, oh well. Rip civilians. Continues to kill them. Well, no survivors, you know? So much better if you wipe them out. We might as well make our way towards the murderer achievement. Da we all grieve for her, Shminiza. This one's brother now walks the endless sands behind the stars. Zazi sorrow is only eclipsed by the hatred she feels towards the Araxians. Don't worry, I killed some more people who are innocent on my way over here. This one's so you can mourn them too. To stay here and defend our farm. Zazi would be a poor sister and a poorer matriarch of this family if she tucked her tail between her legs and slunk away. Slunk away. The forces are right outside. You'll die here, just like your brother. But, but, uh, damn you, Walker. We can't even spare a moment to take care of Hersh's remains. 
No. The living are more important than the dead. We will go into the city. However, if this one gets killed anyway, she promises to haunt you. Banter. <laughs> Thanks ah, so Banter. much. Good. I have another task for you. I hoped to catch you before you were done here. I need you to head west. Nalado's scouts identified a number of Euraxian supply camps set up near the mountains. I want you to help Nalado and her soldiers disrupt the Euraxian supply lines. All right, what do I need to do? These western camps support the soldiers that encircle the city. Find the camps, startle their horses, and set fire to their weapons. Indeed. Nalado's soldiers will grab whatever supplies they can, but your goal is to inflict mayhem and destruction. Very well. Easy. Once you scare off the horses and set fire to the wagons, that will be the signal for Nalado's soldiers to grab the supplies. And if any of the Euraxians complain, feel free to deal with them however you see fit. I think the soldiers are also looking for body parts of Zamagfoon Sikhs. Zumagfoon! He wants to resurrect the betrayer from the ancient tales of Kunzari. Ever since Abner Tharn made the Moonsingers recall those legends, we have been haunted by them. But that is the next problem. First, we must protect the river. I will take care of the supplies because you can't stop going on about it. Don't worry, mate. Consider them as good as burnt. I do have a werewolf, yeah. I can transform into a werewolf and we can kill some stuff. For fun. Maybe we can go around the supply camp decimating everything. Mwahahaha. In fact, let me have a quick look actually, because uh my Oh, is that an enemy? Dunno. My skills. Uh World Werewolf. Ah, piercing how this is new. What does this do? Crushing enemy with defeating how deafening how. Oh my god, that's physical damage? Sounds fun. Let's just King Rage Mode Die I'm just gonna feast on the corpse right in front of these poor people that are about to die. Oh my god, that's so OP. These three people won't stand a chance either. You can also fear them as well while you lay into them. Gonna casually eat the corpse of your friends while my dogs kill you. Nom 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 nom. Easy. Get wrecked, son. So why is there a horse here? Startle the horse. Well, if that doesn't startle you, I don't know what will. Haha! <laughs> a werewolf holding a torch. Hilarious! Hilarious! Oh yeah, better. Better burn it. But take the strawberries out first, you know. Sleek and lively. Grab what you can. Ah, oh, wet fur. Wet fur. Das isn't it good. Oh, I just transformed. Good damn. Didn't eat enough corpses to prolong my transformation. Startle the horse. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. <laughs> he just run away. <laughs> You're so scared of me. Set fire to this. Fire to that. Hey, hey. Get wrecked. Well done, five claw. Let's talk over there. Over there. Come on then. Hurry up. Don't have all day. Chop chop. Oh my god, she fucking disappeared. Has she gone? How? She oh, she's over there. Literally just vanished. If those dungheads had proper tails, what we did to their supply camps would put a kink in them. One more small task, Five Claw, if you are willing. This one would have you help the strange one named Cadwell. <laughs> ESO playing ESO. What is this? 2017? Question mark. 
Your stream should be titled that, yeah. For sure, man. <laughs> what Cadwell's doing requires my help. Cadwell was adamant about helping our cause. He's been tinkering with bits and scraps. Claims he's made traps to slow down the Euraxians. If you would, help the strange one set his traps where the Euraxians are sure to spring them. Where is he? Cadwell works along the main road that heads south out of Riverhold. Make sure he doesn't blow himself to bits, yes? Very well. well must I will go and help while you go back to the city, my friend. Uh, Cadwell is over here setting up some traps. Guaranteed he's just putting like pots and pans on the floor and explaining how that will help him. Where is he? What's he doing? Ah, oh, here he is. Oh, here's his trap. Wow, look, Cadwell, that, that's not going to stop anyone. That's the most blatantly obvious trap with, what is that, a jam jar in the middle? Fantastic work, Cadwell, fantastic. So good to see you again. I missed you terribly. Now, mind where you step. I had no idea I could make such delightful murder toys. You don't want to stick a toe into any of them, though. Blue my little piggy right off. What's my favourite weapon in the Elder Scrolls series? I really like, um, what is it? The Ebony Blade, because you get to kill innocent people to empower the sword, and it's just like, who do I kill? It's a really fun weapon. Wait, you didn't know you could, I can, I didn't know you could make traps. I can play a loot. Magnificent sword play, my speciality. Can even make a delicious Daedra heart from there. But these doodads that go kaboom just popped into my head while thinking about how to help the cat folk. I quite like the cat folk. I just figured out how to make traps by thinking about it. Wouldn't that be remarkable? Decide you need to know something and it just occurs to you in a flash of inspiration. Chocolate souffle. No, no, it didn't work. More likely, it's something <laughs> I knew before they chopped my head off and scrambled my memories. That's how you originally died, right? Took it right off the old body, yes. Not that I recall details. Uh, probably better that way. Anywho, you could help me arm the last few traps along the road. Just twiddle the spring and tweak the fiddly bit carefully. Watch, I'll show you. Yes, I will do it for you. To arm a trap, just twiddle this bit like so, and... Oh dear. Jesus Christ, Cadwell. I'm fine, I'm fine. Get us all killed. I should have tweaked just a wee bit scorched, that's all. You should have put on some more kitchen cutlery, otherwise you'd kill yourself there. Right, I'll do the other ones then, don't worry. Duh. Just set off every single trap like a boss. What have I missed? You've missed everything. You've been playing this game for hours. It's happening again. Well, that's an evil-looking orc. A necromancer, I, what? I do believe. Oh, hello. I recognize that tree. They're on their way to Riverhold. That's not good. Not good at all. What the hell's going on, Cadwell? Uh, I have enough trouble seeing through my own eyes, let alone someone else's. I hope this doesn't become a regular occurrence. You had another one of your dream visions. What did you see? The betrayer's head. Um, I'm not sure why we're connected or why it insists on showing me the most disturbing images. <laughs> I saw an orc necromancer, dreadful chap. He's coming to Riverhold, and he's bringing his nasty undead chums with him. His undead chums? Rubbish and poppycock. That makes no sense. What's a... W w wait. I remember something. The betrayer. Those loon priests called me that. Right before they... Mm. Well, we need to warn the cat people. The necromancer is coming, and he's bringing undead. Das is no good. I'm running like that because it's my personality. The jester run animation is pretty funny. Panda from the live stream in Skyrim. Anyway, when would you carry on Skyrim? Not so sure yet. At some point, though, <laughs> I'm sure. 
Why should ESO standard and plus and the plus membership? Um, ES, so yeah, if you play like the default ESO and then you get the plus membership, then you can play like all the DLC for free. But um, that's like basically it. You also get like 10% experience boost, but it's almost inconsequential. Let's get back to real hold. Oh wow, we killed one guy with that trap. Fantastic. Indeed, Cadwell. You're having such a good time, aren't you? Just having a little party there. I need to go to a thief area so I can turn in my wares. At some point, because I'm full of stuff, guys. That's alright. The Scooby-Doo run, indeed. Indeed. I've got to go and sell my wares quickly, guys. Best place to do that is... Glenumbra. We can travel to this way shrine. And I can sneaky sneak into the Thieves' Guild. You didn't sleep at all, and now you're stuck. R.I.P. I do stay running like that, yeah. But I can I can change it back. There's like lots of personalities. You can have like a guard personality, a drunk personality. There's loads of different ones. There's a thief one as well and an assassin one. It's pretty fun. Right, where do I need to go? I need to go over here. The Thieves Guild. We don't want to get um, taken by the law, otherwise our stolen goods will become forfeits, my friends. And that is not what we need in our life. We need to sell this stuff. Can I get up here? Please. Please. ESO, please. Oh, damn. Thieves' Den should just be around here. Yeah, here we go. The Daggerful Outlaw's Refuge. Is it similar to Skyrim? To be honest, like, it in many ways they've done a really good job of making it similar to the Elder Scrolls, like, solo series, but it is more an MMO than a solo game. Yeah, drunk is fun, not gonna lie. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, this is uh, one of the Thieves Guild dens. Every city pretty much has one. Um... And you can just sell and fence your goods here. So I need to find the fence. She's just here. This one has many. No, that's the bank. You're the fence. I admit it. I'm attracted to Okay. Take all of this stuff. There we go. So now we can head back over to the other area, though I do want to sell my stuff to the merchant first. Oh, that's the here. guild trader. I don't want that person. I don't buy stuff. Alright, let's just go. Let's sort it out later. Is this the right exit? I hope so. Otherwise, RIP me. Yes, you get an unlimited craft bag with the Elder Scrolls Online. That's a good point. Which basically like makes a crafting inventory. Uh, so you can just pick up everything pretty much. And it just goes into your craft bag. And then you can just craft from that supply. Which makes the, like once you've used it, it makes the game so much better. <laughs> It's almost a necessity. To not have it is a nightmare. <laughs> Don't think you can barter with me like I'm one of those damn shopkeepers. <laughs> you know it's 2am and you're still awake, indeed. Pizza Island. Pizza Land. Why does your character run like he has? It's the oh god damn! We've come out in the wrong place. That is not good. 
that's just fast travel to to elsewhere do be do do boop boop i say we need to go here now anyway it's worth 146 gold not to die Redownloaded ESO a few days ago. Got the itch. Yeah, same actually. I started playing it a few days ago as well. Just started completing some of the zone completely. So satisfying when you get the whole map as white instead of black. You're crying at the way I run. It's so good, isn't it? I love it. I'm just like this evil, crazy, psychopath assassin. Watson Elsewhere. Elsewhere is like a an area in the Elder Scrolls. Right. Let's head to the city and speak to our boy. Over. We must get inside and Cadwell had another vision. More undead. Just like at the Defense Force outpost. Regular troops are bad enough, but shambling corpses. Are the town's defenses ready for this attack? Almost. I wish we had another day and another pride of warriors. But our claws are sharp. Finish your business, then tell me. I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh, we get a defending scenario. You get to defend the city from an onslaught of undead. Sounds fun. I hope it's good. Oh, ESO, still streaming. I just finished the last episode of Game of Thrones. Oh, fuzzy puzzy. How did you find it? No spoilers, obviously. On the Twitch chat, he's talking. But, um,. Yeah, what did you think? What are your two cents? I thought the whole season. Yeah, I can't. I can't say anything without spoiling anything, so I'm just not gonna. Yeah, I was just disappointed though. I can tell you all the points from it where it went wrong, but <sighs> very sad. Thanos, don't run. <laughs> what? Come on, loading screen. Show me your wares. Rara, indeed. Oh. Yeah, yeah, same. Loved it in the beginning. It got worse and worse. Though I do, I did really like the scene with Brienne when she was updating the history log. That was really cool. Like, that was a really nice touch. The Uraxians have necromancers in their ranks. The Usurper Queen dare send undead against us. Find Claw. Find Captain Nalado and warn her. Yeah. Oh, fine. I'll do your job for you. I don't even know who this Captain Lady is. Or was that a ballista? Can I fire it? Can I fire it? No? Strike okay. On. Drive back the Uraxians. Five Claw. Did the speaker send orders? Riverhold belongs to Queen Uraxia Cats. Brave robbing cur! Every death is just a new recruit for Euraxian's army. This one came he just killed his own people. What a nutter. This one must warn the what a nutter. Can't believe it. The necromancer spell will animate every corpse in town. But this one has an idea. Meet Zamarak at the temple, and maybe we can disrupt the spell. Look at those toenails. Jesus Christ. I like how this guy's running around in a robe. He's clearly like an absolute ninja. Triggered. Look out, a zombie. I'm coming. They can cleanse the necromantic curse. This one must be at peace to memorize the inscription. They spilled blood in this sacred place. They spilled brains, my friend. Zombies love brains. Brains, brains, brains. Keep the undead away, Walker. Yeah, what undead? You do your thing, and I will do all the stuff to protect you, my friend. Okay, you're just going to stand... Oh, Jesus Christ! Look out, it's behind you. The moon bros are back at it again. Don't shunder over me. 
Let us find the blessed pillar of the spring moon. Okay, sounds very fancy. Show me the blessed pillar of the spring moon. Thank you so much, Fuzzy Puzzy, for the 500 bits. Good lord. Give me that Nazim triggered emote. Hell yes. If you guys haven't watched on Twitch, by the way, do be sure to follow me. I sometimes only stream on uh, Twitch. Now and again, for fun. Oh, hello. As long as the necromantic spell remains in place, the dead will keep rising. Indeed. Activate the blessed pillar of the sun. Thought he said he was going to do that. Oh, it's a very pretty little area, this. Activate it. Oh, Jesus. Look how creepy that Khajiit's animations are, man. This is a nice little zen garden, though. Ow. Oh, the summer moon. Come on, then. We're doing all the four seasons, I guess. Oh, I can't get on my horse. My valiant steed. Let's go to the summer moon. Here we are, the summer moon. Come on, do your magical... The summer moon. Oh, I said woofy boy. One woofy boy. Sit down, skeletal slayer. One more. The pillar of the winter moon near Kahajan Hall. Okay, let's go to the pillar of the winter moon. Yes, this one indeed. They have like a uh, Twitch um, cheer remotes though, so if you cheer, you get like varying in intensities of Nazim being triggered. At, at one level, depending how many bits you like donate, he starts to spin around and his face goes red. It's quite funny. Not on this character. I don't do PvP. Hell yeah. Wait. Something. Something is coming. Oh boy. Awesome. This one will order the insignificant belongs to the Kashit. Kamira, consider your next words very carefully. I got you. Now I'll speak the words my people need to hear. We are Khajiit. We are the children of Alkosh, the daughters and sons of John and Jod. We do not run, even from dragons. Well done. Prove your worth. Destroy these paltry insects. No, goddamn. Where's he off to? with me, people of Anequina. For I am Kamira, daughter of King Hemakar. I am your queen. Bold. Use the ballista and drive the dragon to the ground. Hell yeah. How do I use it? Yes. Oh my god. Oh yes. Oh. Yeah, fire at a dragon. You couldn't do this in Skyrim. Get down, boy. Come at me, bro. I don't think so. No, you missed. I am the true Dovakin, my friend. It's actually quite tanky. <laughs> He's got no health left, but somehow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my goodness me.
Fos Roda to you, my friend. Thank you so much for the bits, by the way, Scottish guy. Really? Oh, Jesus! Jesus! You're gonna set me on fire, mate. He's got no health left. When's he gonna die? Oh, there we go. Jesus. Hey, man, that was all me, you dickhead. I did... Hail Queen ESO. Soon, Rimen and all of Anequina will once again belong to us. The reign of the Usurper Queen nears its end. On this, I give you my word as the heir of Anequina, the daughter of King Hemakar, and the true Queen of Rimen. We have plans to make. War Council, with me. The speaker is correct. There's still work to do. Let's convene in Kaharjab Hall. Let's do it. I like the voices on the shouts. Yeah, it was really cool, wasn't it? There you go. Battled a dragon M9. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this part one of Elsewhere. I'll probably uh, do a streaming now one in the future. I don't know if I'll upload it afterwards. I guess it depends how well this video does if we do it again, but um, I'll definitely be some doing some more streams of elsewhere anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I'm glad we got that fun dragon boss fight at the end, but I believe we're a good chunk of the way through now. Um, and yeah, I'll be doing some more streams, some dungeons and whatnot. Just general ESO content, including the, the main game as well, um, for you guys to watch, because uh, I've really enjoyed it so far, and I think it's quite a fun game to stream as well. But if you guys want to join me, then please go ahead, add me. The name is Enter Name here, and uh, my guild is ESO Squad, so I'll send you an invite to that. And we can uh, do the trials together, because they've got like a new trials where you like battle the dragon and stuff, so it's really cool. So um, I think that'll be good fun, but check out my Skyrim video if you haven't already. I did like a uh, five secret hidden locations, it's quite interesting if you want to check that out, even if you've kind of done with Skyrim I think I found some locations you haven't discovered yet with some interesting things and I want to do like another video kind of like that in the future as well so uh, if you don't want to miss streams in the future subscribe press the bell icon as well it's the best way to stay up to date um, and I'll see you guys in the next video so thank you so much for watching uh, and I will see you next time and big easy thanks again for that massive donation not so sure if you're still watching you always pop by randomly and give me a big ass donation and that one was just ridiculous so thank you so much for that man again really appreciate it and guys thanks for the congrats on the engagement really appreciate that too uh thank you all for the support i'll see you in the next video guys goodbye have a fantastic day